my lookbook sewing project behind the scenes and in this series it's going to be focusing on the colour that's coming up. Hello fashion sewers, I'm Colleen G. Lee and welcome to FSB TV. If you're new to the channel, hello, I'm Colleen and if you enjoy fashion sewing techniques and refashioning old and new clothing, consider subscribing and let's get started. Series, I want to go through how I draft my patterns more or less. So I'm not going to go into detailed information. What I'm going to be doing is just give you an overview. And in this episode, the first episode was about the fabric and the design I was going, going to be making, which is a coat. So um, now I'm on this stage where I'm drafting the collar. So I'm going to show you the collar um, how I generally go about drafting collars in this particular episode and maybe one or two more information as regarding the pattern cutting. So um, yeah, I'm going to go through that with you now. So I'm going to bring you down so you can see what I've been doing. So this, I'll just remind you of the design um, that I was going for and this is the collar shaping that I'm trying to achieve. So I am now drafting my pattern. So um, the pattern that I'm actually working with, um, if you do follow my tutorials, um, some, some time ago I did a mustard yellow coat. So basically um, I'm, I'm kind of using that as the template for drafting for this coat because I like the way it fits and um, I just have to make some minor adjustments. Um, actually I'll talk you through those minor adjustments um, before I actually go onto the collar. So... Um, you, be, you can't see my pencil lines very well, which is a good thing, but um, it may be a bit difficult to, yeah, I think I've got it there. So here is the original shoulder line. And in my mustard jacket, I actually raised the shoulder line because I was putting in shoulder pads. I'm not having any shoulder pads in this coat. So um, I've, can't, I've, I've brought the shoulder down and then the same for the armhole area. So um, it was quite a, a big armhole, so I want to make that armhole smaller because this jacket is going to, this coat, I just, I don't know why I keep calling it a jacket. This fabric is telling me it wants to be a jacket, but it's not going to be a jacket, it's going to be a coat. Anyway, so, um, so yeah, I'm raising the armhole just a little as well. Um, there isn't anything else. Oh yeah, in the mustard coat there is a dart, so I'm going to remove, I'm not going to actually remove the dart, I'm going to keep the dart as is, but I'm not going to make it into a dart, so here I'm going to be just putting um, ease, I'm going to ease this into the side seams to make sure that the side seams match up. So if you come the, down a bit more here, I also want a little bit of shaping into the waistline. So um, it's not going to be straight and rectangular like my other coat. So I want a little bit of shaping in here. Um, this is positioned for my pocket. And yeah, this is going to be the extension for the slit. So yeah, that's generally... So you want your, net, um, your drafting of your patterns to be done in a very fine pencil. So hence the reason you probably can't see it that well. But that is a good thing. Right, so we're going to focus on the collar. So here's the collar. So when you're drafting your collar, you need to work at a 90 degree angle because you want it to make sure it sits correctly on your body. So um, what I've done here is I've created a 90 degree angle from here. So this is going to be the centre front and this is going to be the shoulder line. Well, not going to be the shoulder line, but this is where you start drafting from. So you go from the neck point here, the shoulders here. So from the neck point here and along this line that you've created in order to get a 90 degree angle, um, you come out the width of the back of your neck and then you go up in order to create a angled collar so that it sits correctly when you actually come to construct it. So what happens here is that you go up roughly about, I'll say about five centimetres, which is about two inches and maybe just a, a, a little bit more um, to make sure that the collar does fall like you were, the way that you want it to fall. So but just come up just a little here. So once you've created that, so you then need to work out what the length 
of the back of your collar is, um, is going to be. So I've done that measurement and also you need to make sure that you have, in order to create this angle here for the collar shaping, you're going to need the measurement of your back neck. So it's going to be um, half your back measurement for here in order to be able to create the actual collar itself. So, and this line here, it's just a guideline. This blue line here is a guideline to make sure that um, I'm going to be shaping it the way I want to shape it. So if I bring it in a bit closely. So you've got a, a pencil marking here. So, and there's a second one here. Just want to make sure that I get that right. But I use my curved ruler in order to make sure that I get as smooth a line as possible. Um, you can also just do it by hand, which is more than likely I do in when I'm drafting kind of a curved line. And then you just kind of true it with a curved ruler. So that's basically what I've done there. And this is going to be, this is the original neckline, which is going to be part of the collar, as you'll see. So... The next step for me to do to make sure that I'm happy with what I am doing is that I've just traced off the collar here. So you can see that I've traced it off. And I'm going to test this section. I don't want to test the whole of the coat because I've already done that when I made my previous coat. But I want to make sure that the collar is sitting correctly. So I've traced that around and it should be something like this, which is what I'm hoping to achieve. So it should sit something like that. That's really looking quite nice. So if I just show you what I was trying to achieve, so that's what I'm trying to achieve there. And I think that's going to be it's going to be pretty good. So now that I've made a little pattern and then got this twirl. So what I did with some scrap calico, some scrap fabric is that I quickly wanted to make sure that I'm happy with the construction of the collar. So I'll quickly put that on so that you can actually see how it looks on me. So, um, like it's only a small section, so I'll take my scarf off and I'll get a better fit then. And then what I do then is just anchor it onto my shoulder. Yes, that's oh, that's looking pretty good actually. Oh, so it's yeah. Give it a show you there. So I want it to be touching like this. And yeah, it's doing what I envisage. It's doing what I wanted it to do. So yeah. So show you the back. So that's seen there. And maybe just a tad too too high. But I don't know. No, I think I'm quite happy with that. I do want it to, because I want it to stand quite high. And um, I think it's starting to fold that way so, so that it can create like a, a funnel effect. So if I come a bit closer, you should be able to see just slightly inside there. And that's what I'm wanting to achieve. So yeah, that's a good, a good drafting of a collar. Obviously, this, this isn't as nowhere near as thick as the fabric that I'll be using. So, yes, that's, I'm, I'm happy with that. So, that's the way I kind of um, do a little bit of my pattern drafting. So, if I want to test anything out, I'm not quite 100% sure um, that I've got the shaping that I want. But that is really what I was looking for. That's a really good, yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah. So now the next thing for me to focus on is doing all of the other adjustments that I mentioned to you earlier 
but yeah, I'm happy with that color and the fact that it's touching is, yeah.